We're all connected here and there, north and south, south. everywhere. We're all connected by what we share. We're all connected because we care. Connected North is a leading edge program that delivers immersive and interactive education services to remote and underserved northern communities through high definition, two way video communication, and collaboration technology. We have schools and communities in very isolated parts of Canada who are suddenly able to connect with other students across the country, with experts and innovators, scientists, artists, and world leaders through video conference technology. Cisco is an organization that provides all the infrastructure and plumbing for the internet, and we also provide collaboration technologies, in particular a technology called telepresence. It's like super high definition video conferencing that really conquers the challenges of time and distance. The goal of the program is to provide participating students and their teachers with access to content that is engaging and innovative with the hope of increasing feelings of empowerment in school and in life. Each session is planned in collaboration with the school, taking into consideration the unique strengths, challenges, and learning goals for each classroom. This means creating opportunities for capacity building and professional development for teachers. They're able to see people who work in the fields that they're studying about. We got to see what the body looks like without blood and what the brain looks like. What we're going to do today, guys, that you have difficult time doing in the classroom is I'm going to show you human specimens. Like, we don't see that in real life. Like, like here in school. They have an opportunity to share what they're interested in and we look for ways to bring that into the classroom. Nice and straight. You guys ready? Jab. <laughs> Good son. The guy who did the session was totally blown away when one of my students said, uh, I had beluga for lunch. I had, I had beluga, beluga for kids. lunch. <laughs> had beluga for lunch? <laughs> All right. One full circle, that's what makes it a medicine wheel, a full on wheel. I think it's really important for us to be able to do something other than just being in a class. Like different ways of learning. I was thinking about going to Toronto for film school. They're learning about what they can do once they finish high school. There is also an important focus on developing cross-cultural understanding through project-based learning and sharing between schools across the country. And they get to meet new people and, and understand that there's more out there. What is the weather like? Cold. 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 Super cold! I had no idea what their lives were like, even though we were the same age and they were learning the same things in school. We eat whale in the Arctic. I really believe in authentic knowledge, having the, the, the lens and the perspective of the people who live and practice the culture and that, you know, the children learn it from their parents, their grandparents. It's really important for them to be sharing this with others. At the heart of the program is the intention to build meaningful connections and relationships. It is about so much more than just supporting students to learn, but about offering opportunities where learning can be a catalyst for increased confidence, hope, and belonging. In order to do this, we're committed to an approach that holds Indigenous perspectives and reconciliation at the center of both content and process. This includes developing culturally relevant content where students' cultures are respected and valued, letting the students and educators guide how the program will work best for them and their community, and introducing First Nations, Métis, and Inuit role models wherever possible as critical sources of knowledge and inspiration. I always keep elders with me because the elders are the speakers of our people. They're, they're basically our ancestors incarnate. What started as a small idea has quickly evolved into a network. A network of hope, connection, and collaboration. And we cannot wait to see how Connected North will continue to grow. We need the people down south to understand the North. The North is special. The North has people, and they just need to see us. And they just need to understand we are here, we're not going away, and we're strong. Woo! <laughs>